they can help break the uh, wheat, uh, weed and disease cycle perhaps, if, you know, right. through a rotation. And we have a lot of good varieties and transgenic trait technologies that can help that along. Okay, such as what? Uh, Roundup Ready Flex technology and the Glytol technology. The Roundup Ready Flex is from Monsanto. Uh, the Glytol technology is from Bayer Crop Science. Those provide full season tolerance uh, to over the top applications of glyphosate. Uh, also, what you'll see out there in the market is uh, another trait that's called Liberty Link, mm -hmm. and uh, that also imparts full season tolerance to Liberty or glufosinate herbicide. Okay. So, uh, and, and what we're seeing with a lot of the Bayer crop science varieties, particularly the ones that's come out in the last couple of years, is we're seeing the Glytol and the Liberty Link stacked. Okay. So, the, you have full season Roundup over the top, or full season glyphosate over the top with the Roundup Ready Flex varieties as well as the Glytol. So if you have a Glytol Liberty Link stacked, you actually have two over the top variety, uh, over the top herbicides that you can spray uh, full season. And different modes of action there? Yes, mo different modes of action. And actually, I am encouraging producers to, to use a residual herbicide in order to uh, manage for potential weed resistance down the road. We really have to, to become more diversified in our herbicide programs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and if growers are interested in uh, uh, perhaps rotating to cotton, they need to think pretty hard about the residual herbicides that they're using because some of these may have some rotation restrictions down the road that, they, that may not be compatible with what the plans for the producers might be for that specific field in 2014. Let's talk about the concerns. Now. First of all, with the glyphosate, do you, do you have to worry with any of these, these herbicides you're gonna use about the cotton crop coming after that when you're terminating there? Well, a lot of times if we have guys that are in strict no-till production, we encourage them to add a 2,4-D or a dicamba product. Okay. Uh, you really have to watch the labels and where you are in Oklahoma in order to make that work because you really need to have 25 inches of rainfall for, to use dicamba. Okay. Uh, but uh, typically, uh, 30 days after we uh, apply a tank mix of uh, glyphosate and say a, about a pound of 2,4-D, we can uh, safely plant cotton. Uh, if guys don't have enough weed pressure, and, and really th the reason why we add the 2,4-D is for problem weeds in no-till, such mm -hmm. as horseweed. Right. That, that is a very difficult weed, and it's, it's a very common problem in no-till production across the cotton belt. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, basically wall-to-wall. -wall. Hmm. Well, let's talk about pest problems. Are we expecting, because of the late plant, any increased problems? Well, one of the things that we would probably want to uh, be on particular uh, point about would be thrips pressure. And depending upon the planting date, uh, thrips are really, really small uh, insects. They, uh, they basically uh, feed on the cotyledons of the seedlings. And uh, so uh, many times we, we can utilize some seed treatments for that. And uh, they're, they're, they're fair. They will give you a, a, maybe a week or two weeks worth of uh, coverage. But a lot of times uh, we might need to come in with a follow-up shot of, say, asafate or some product that's, that's like that. And then, of course, if we have late cotton and, and we have a, a large number of flea hoppers, which is a, a, it's a fruit feeding insect, right. we really do not want to allow the, the flea hoppers, if we can prevent it, uh, from taking off our early fruit because if we, if we lose that, then it just kind of puts us in a tailspin. And if you have late cotton and you lose your early fruit, then that means that you may be in a situation down the road where uh, if, if we have an early freeze in the fall, then you may be boxed in. So the, in, everything in cotton is about managing for earliness. <laughs>